All right, guys, here we are on Tuesday morning for the Monday morning idiot, but Labor Day is Labor Day. Anyway, let's get back into the game here. We're starting the second quarter, uh, I guess early in the second quarter here. Um, what I like is how much you're seeing, uh, again, Oklahoma's communication. There, I mean, right here you can see Danny Stutzman talking. Uh, I, I looks like to the sideline uh, based on what we see here from Jacoby Johnson and – that might be Kendall Dolby. I'm not 100% on that. Um, but anyway, several things I like here. Um, this is, this is going to end up in a fumble. This is the little kind of tunnel screen that um, uh, Temple tries to run. We'll, let, let's just go through it, or let's watch it, and then we'll come back. Oklahoma rushes four. Over the middle, it's right so there down. comes Robert Spears. And, and I mean... By Robert Spears Jennings standards, not the world's biggest hit. Um, it, it was kind of one of those things like I remembered it in the game being bigger than that. And for, you know, a guy like him could have been a lot more ferocious than it was. So let's watch a few things here. Um, first, I, again, I want to kind of note the personnel. Um, you've got... Dominic Williams, Grayson Halton, R. Mason Thomas, Ethan Down. So, with the exception of Grayson Halton, pretty much your starting defensive line. And I love how much in this game they brought Grayson Halton in in third down situations. We talked about that all off season. Is that something I thought he could be really good at? Really, almost be like that specialty pass rusher. Um, and as he proves more and more of that, obviously he'll get more snaps in first and second and that kind of thing. But he's just so quick and so athletic. I think he brings something kind of unique on the interior. Um, you have Gentry Williams up here. You have Jacoby Johnson down here. Robert Spears Jennings right here. So, uh, And then uh, we've got Lewis Carter and Danny Stutzman at linebacker. So you've got about half starters, half reserves. And again, I, I just can't help but note how under control this defense looks here. So... Go, we'll go, yeah, okay. So here you see it. Um, they got here, you know, the twins to the left here. Um, and Temple shows them some motion, tries to throw them out of it. Stan Drayton talked about it in the post game press conference, them really trying to move Oklahoma around and get some things they wanted. And he, he kind of alluded to the thought that he felt like they did. Um, I, you know, I don't, I don't know how you would respond to that. I thought Brent Venable's comments after the game were more interesting than usual with just how clear he was about, yeah, this game was very much just a tune-up. Um, anyway, but watch. Like I say, you're going to see some motion here. Yeah, going to come back around. Kind of that. They show bubble, and you see Jacoby Johnson is not interested at all in this. He's breaking towards the to potential receiver. Um, you've got Danny Stutzman here. He's reading this guy. Lewis Carter... Look how quickly Robert Spears Jennings picks this up. So he's the deep man here. He'll just about get out of picture. And then watch him. Look, he's already, I mean, he's coming downhill. And this is all just setting up. I, I Again, what I like is that as physical and as violent as Robert can be as a safety, he's not out of control. Like, you don't see him coming down here. And just playing, you know, he knows he's the last line. He's got to keep it in front of him. But he still gets down there quickly enough to obviously disrupt the play and end up making the big play. So, again, it's not so much that I, in any of these plays that we've highlighted for the defense so far, that I've seen something that are like, holy cow, that one, that one player had a superhuman mo moment. Like maybe we used to see like Kenneth Murray years ago. Um it's more of, wow, this team is really sound from top to bottom and are very much in control of the variables that they're seeing in front of them.